Traditional Catholics need the Legion of Mary. The Legion of Mary needs traditional Catholics. Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. This video has a pretty provocative title, but I've got a really serious point to make. Traditional Catholics, that is those who are predominantly attending the old rite of the mass, going to SSPX chapels, FSSP, maybe even Darson chapels where the Latin mass is offered, families who are homeschooling their children, praying the rosary every day, families that are avoiding the evils of modern society, they need the Legion of Mary. I want to explain why. The second part, that the Legion of Mary needs traditional Catholics. Well, in Western Europe and in the US, that's pretty obvious because the Legion of Mary has declining membership in many areas, certainly Europe, UK, Ireland in particular, some parts of the USA, the Legion of Mary is struggling because it doesn't have traditional Catholics, committed Catholics attending the Latin Mass chapels as members in the Presidia. But why is it that I'm saying that traditional Catholics need the Legion of Mary. The reason is simple. Those attending the traditional Latin Mass quite easily get into a couple of negative mentalities. The first is that everything in the world is so terrible, we just have to protect our families and go to our Mass remain faithful to our traditional Catholic friends and just kind of close the doors and keep the evil out. I want to say that that's not a truly Catholic mentality and the Legion of Mary can rescue from that mentality and bring you a much healthier mentality which is we want to help bring others into the true Catholic faith, even reaching out to people that are godless, people that don't go to mass at all, don't have any religion. Okay, I need to go back a little bit. The Legion of Mary is a lay organization centered around the lay apostolate, lay people fulfilling their baptismal call to spreading the truths of the Catholic faith. Now that's not a Vatican II idea. The Legion of Mary was founded way before Vatican II and its spirituality is of Saint Louis Marie de Montfort, of continuing in Our Lady's work of bringing Christ to the world. I think, I'm going off in a tangent now, but I think some people as they attend traditional Latin Mass parishes, they get so in awe of the priest. I mean, it's right that the priest is the true pastor, that he leads his parish, that you defer to his authority. But sometimes I think in the Latin Mass parishes, there's a sense that Father knows best to such a high degree that, that lay people almost think to themselves, well, our job is just to come to Holy Mass, to pray, to do prayers as a family at home, to support the parish, to do some chores in the parish, maybe to help out at the parish tea and coffee, maybe helping out visiting some of the, the sick, maybe, I don't know, even doing that, because that is often seen as the domain of the priest only in some traditional Catholic parishes. But anyway, this was not how things were when the church was healthy. You know, if you want to look at the 50s, if you want to look at the 40s, especially in Ireland, where the Legion of Mary began, the Legion of Mary enabled and facilitated lay people to visit, to share their Catholic faith with others. This was part of normal, traditional Catholicism, going door to door, sharing the truths of the Catholic faith, trying to bring people to Holy Mass, to bring people back to the sacraments. I think perhaps perhaps there have been priests in traditional parishes, they're wary of the idea of like lay people doing wacky things, but that doesn't mean that lay people shouldn't be stepping up and fulfilling their call to share the truths of the Catholic faith with those in the world. The Legion of Mary system enables Catholics to be directed by their priest, their pastor, the priest who's in charge of the chapel or the Latin mass community. The Legion of Mary uh, works for him 
It visits for him. So let's say your priest in charge of your chapel, he's got all of these people that he knows about, some who are lapsed, some who are housebound, some who are kind of got maybe some some needs. He tells you as legionaries to go and visit them in pairs and then to report back to him on how it's gone. I mean, how amazing that is for him uh, in his missionary setting as a pastor in a traditional Latin mass community, how amazing it is to have lay people as an extension of him in the community. Traditional Catholicism needs the Legion of Mary. How many traditional priests I know who spend so much of their time just in their priory and dealing with going around, traveling around, offering Holy Mass in chapels, visiting the sick on the first Friday with Holy Communion, and maybe dealing with uh, homeschooling families, helping them out. These priests don't have time to do home to home. They don't have time to knock on all the doors in the parish, sharing the truths of the Catholic faith. But traditional Catholics, you should be doing that. You should be doing that for him and bringing to him cases, individuals who are interested in the Catholic faith. Sometimes traditional Latin mass communities, they seem to just, like I said, put down all of the shutters maybe with a little poster on the door saying this is where you'll find the true traditional Latin mass come on in on a Sunday or on a weekday morning when we're open for holy hour mass and rosary and that's kind of it that's kind of the outreach that's not Catholicism that's not normal Catholicism normal Catholicism should be lay people visiting homes, sharing the Catholic faith with others, and then then bringing those people to the priest when they're ready and when, when they accept to see a priest. Okay, back to one of my earlier points. Traditional Catholics can get a negative mentality of the church is so awful and the world is so awful. There's nothing that can be done except for focusing in on my own little family or maybe even just myself, my own soul. That's a negative. That's not a Catholic attitude. A Catholic attitude is go make disciples of all nations. A Catholic attitude has always got to be looking outwards. And the thing is, The thing is, if you get into that maggot mentality that things are so terrible that we can't do anything, it's self-perpetuating. But if you knock on some doors, if you spend two hours a week knocking on doors, sharing the Catholic faith with others, you soon realize that other people, their lives are messy, their lives are complicated, but a lot of them are really just waiting for the approach they're just waiting to hear the good news now that might sound really strange to you but it's actually true there's loads of people who are tossed on a sea of doubt and confusion especially in the evils of our modern world and the confusion of many modern parishes people are tossed on a sea of doubts and you as a traditional catholic can knock on their door and you can encourage them to make a step towards returning to the Catholic faith. And all of a sudden, you stop thinking about Pope Francis and things going on in Rome and things going on maybe in your bishop's conference, and you start thinking about Mary on number 50, whatever, Trowbridge Street, who is having a hard time, but who's kind of thinking about making a good confession and has not been to confession for 30 years. Your focus and your prayer is on real people and not not like the high things in the Vatican that we have no control over and that we can't influence except by the small gravitational influence by our small amount of prayer. But you can have a real influence on that lady round the corner by your regular Legion of Mary visits. I've done some Legion of Mary work a couple of times with Catholics who have been obsessed with apparitions, maybe with amazing events that are about to happen just around the corner, three days of darkness, just around the corner, the secrets of Medjugorje are going to be released. When those people start doing Legion of Mary work, 
all of a sudden their eyes are opened, that there are souls here and now that need to be reached, that need to be reached before those three days of darkness, if they ever happen, or the secrets of Medjugorje, if they ever happen. The legionary gets you focused on the here and now, souls in your area, people in the community where your land in mass parish is. They're there. They're just waiting to be contacted. Okay, what about your family? What about your children? You can have junior presidia. The best thing you can do for your children is to help them to become confident in sharing their Catholic faith with others. Because, right, you're going to a Latin Mass parish, your children are saying the family ho- ha- family rose with you. Maybe they're going to a catechism class with the priest. But they're going to grow up. They're going to grow up and, they, and they're going to need to be able to share their faith with others. The Legion of Mary junior membership equips them to get confident about talking to their Catholic faith with others, doing it through discussion groups that the Legion of Mary organises, like the Patricians discussion group, but also children doing home-to-home visitation. Yeah, it happens. I've done home-to-home visitation accompanying juniors, where maybe one adult member takes a junior on home-to-home. And that's a great way to get your youngster, especially a youngster that's like 11 and 12, and they're just getting an apologetic mindset, you know, and they're just being instructed and being zealous for souls. It can be great taking a youngster like that on home to home. And, you know, laps people, when they see a child sharing the Catholic faith with them, you know, it can really touch them. They can really be moved and it can be really powerful in encouraging the lapsed back to confession. Priests who are running traditional parishes, start the Legion of Mary. Form your laity through the Legion of Mary. Your laity need the Legion of Mary to stop them from becoming overly inclusive, overly, what am I saying, introverted, overly negative overly maybe even wacky the legion of mary keeps you focused on souls and on the mission of evangelization lay people traditional lay people need the legion of mary that's what i'm saying they need it to help them fulfill their baptismal call to evangelization the legion of mary is a system of evangelization it's not just oh i feel like today going to knock on some doors or i feel today like doing a bit of crowd contact in the city center no the legion mary is obedience and doing work in pairs so it means that the work happens and then you report on it at the next meeting and you're allocated new work it's obvious that the legion of mary needs traditional catholics because traditional catholics believe the catholic faith they love the catholic faith and our Legion of Mary Presidia are dying because many Novus Ordo parishes, it's not true in lots lots of parts of the world like India, South Korea, and even parts of South London, it's not true. But many Novus Ordo parishes are dying out of old age. But traditional parishes aren't. They're growing. They're young. And so the Legion of Mary needs, if the Legion of Mary is continue to do its work in the world, it needs traditional Catholics, definitely in Ireland. But traditional Catholics, they need the Legion of Mary system. That's what I want to suggest for you today. Let me know in the comments if you're a traditional Catholic attending the Legion of Mary in a traditional parish. I know there are some. I know there are some. And I know plenty of traditional Catholics who attend Legion of Mary in their Novus Ordo parish because it's there. And they should be thinking about trying to extend the Legion to their traditional chapel also. You know... Novus Ordo Catholics can also be mightily impressed by seeing the witness of traditional Catholics in the Legion of Mary. Let's say you've got a Legion of Mary that's predominantly Novus Ordo in a particular city. All of a sudden, the Legion of Mary pops up in the Latin Mass Chapel and it grows and it's doing evangelization. It's getting great success on home to home. That is evangelization of tradition. Because the Novus Ordo Catholics, they see the commitment of these traditional Catholics and quite possibly many of them will be drawn to tradition themselves and the benefits of the tradition as a result of it. I hope I've shared some ideas of you today. Please let me know what you think in the comments and may Almighty God bless you and Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.